Welcome, my freedom-loving friend, to the JP Reacts channel, where we call out the lies, hypocrisies, and corruption of tyrants, and we do some other cool stuff here, too. Today, we're going to take a look at the border crisis, not that we have one, but specifically how border towns, border states have been shipping the illegal migrants, illegal aliens to heavily liberal places. Specifically, most recently, uh, there's been a few examples, but uh, Ron DeSantis sent a plane load of illegal aliens from Florida to Martha's Vineyard, which apparently is extremely liberal. It's also an 89% white population with some of those specific white people saying diversity makes us stronger. So Ron DeSantis is like, here's some diversity, now you're stronger. Martha's Vineyard people don't like it. We'll get to that in a second. We've also seen recently uh, Governor Abbott from Texas and Governor Ducey from Arizona have been shipping busloads of illegal aliens crossing our border illegally to Chicago. Mayor Lori Lightfoot, who looks like she's straight out of the movie Beetlejuice, uh, she didn't like it. Shocker. The New York mayor didn't like it. Shocker. Lori Lightfoot, before we get into the main part, I just, I love her hypocrisy where, by the way, setting the stage, before we get to her hypocrisy, the liberal narrative of the past couple years has been, we need to welcome my, uh, migrants, even if they're illegal, we need to welcome them, that makes our country better, all these talking points. But the issue is those liberal places, the liberal politicians where they come from, they're not on the border towns. Seeing 4.2 million illegal crossings in just the past 19 months alone. Migrants, awesome, great, as long as you do it legally. But unfortunately, these are being done illegally because Biden has just open the border, that, that like that's literally how it happens. It's kind of like the water in your sink. It doesn't turn on unless you open the faucet. It's a very kind of uh, black and white thing. Back to the hypocrisy of Lori Lightfoot. She gets pissed off. Governor Abbott sends the busloads of illegal aliens to Chicago after she's been saying, way, we're a sanctuary city. You know, look at these racist people not wanting illegal aliens coming into their places. As so a governor, Abbott's like, here you go. Uh, here's just a small fraction of what we're dealing with. She didn't like it. Kind of shows she doesn't stand by her principles, which makes her a hypocrite. But then her hypocrisy runs deeper than that. After she, you know, had all the disdain and uh, uh, negative things to say about the situation, she then bust those same illegal aliens from Chicago to a Republican-run suburb. So she she did what she hated being done to her. So she, I think she really wins the Hypocrisy Award, but the people on Martha's Vineyard do as well. So uh, we'll take a look here at this first quick piece of Governor Ron DeSantis uh, talking about his move of flying illegal aliens to Martha's Vineyard, which apparently is a nice place. I've never been there but sounds better than South Texas or South Arizona, which by the way, the whole purpose, I imagine that, and they, some of them have literally said it, but what some of these Republican governors and politicians are doing, the reason why they're doing this, shipping the illegal aliens to these liberal cities, housing a lot of liberal politicians, is because it's very easy for a leftist politician to say, we need to welcome them all. You're a racist if you don't think they should come. But if those same leftist politicians are living in places where they don't see the wrath and the toll and the ugliness that happens when you have 4.2 million people illegally crossing the border, then it's easy for them to stick with their narrative, their talking points, and try to keep passing policies that allows our border to be open, keep rejecting policies that would actually secure our border. So what these Republican politicians do is, I'm sure you know, they're like, well, they definitely won't change if they don't see it. But if we ship some of these people here, they see it, they start to feel it, maybe then something will change. 
I don't like the idea of playing chess with human beings. I don't like that. But what I do like is these people are here illegally, which is the leftists first off using them as chess pieces. Come on into our country, <laughs> vote Democrat. <laughs> so though I don't think playing with people's lives is fu funny at all, I do think the strategy has merit to it. So back to Governor Ron DeSantis, or Death Santis, as I think AOC calls him. Here's him, a uh, quick clip of him speaking about the plane load of people he sent to Martha's Vineyard. Take a look. We are not a sanctuary state, and it's better to be able to go to a sanctuary jurisdiction. And yes, we will help facilitate that transport for you to be able to go to greener pastures. Biden would fly people in the middle of- What's funny is Ron DeSantis openly says, we're not a sanctuary state. But then the leftists who run their cities and different areas not on the border, they say, we are a sanctuary city or a sanctuary community. And then Ron DeSantis is like, okay, here you go. And they're like, dude, we're not a sanctuary. Like, what do you, we, we can, we're not doing this. The night, dump them all across this country. There was no warning on any of this. And all those people in D.C. and New York were beating their chests when Trump was president, saying they were so proud to be sanctuary jurisdictions, saying how bad it was to have a secure border. The minute even a small fraction of what those border towns deal with every day is brought to their front door, they all of a sudden go berserk. And they're so upset that this is happening. And it just shows you, you know, their virtue signaling is a fraud. Okay? They... Yeah, I think he wrapped it up beautifully there. Their virtue signaling is a fraud. If their virtue signaling wasn't a fraud, if it was actually a principle they lived by, they'd see the illegal aliens coming to their city like, oh, what a gift. Like, we're not on the border. They don't come flooding into our cities. Welcome, guys. And they would do their thing. But... Uh, to me, Ron DeSantis calls it uh, the way it is in reality. At least that's the way I see it as well. But here, so Ron DeSantis sends the 50 illegal aliens to Martha's Vineyard. And uh, within a day or two, uh, Martha's Vineyard organizes buses to take them off Martha's Vineyard. It's kind of like, hey, we're... Uh, we're too wealthy. I mean, we, we're a sanctuary place. Yes. Uh, we, we care for you. Yes. But hell out of here. This is, we'd rather just do the talking and not the doing. Here's something that's super funny. Uh, yeah, it's right here at the top of the screen. You can see here, this is a sign in Martha's Vineyard. It says the island of Martha's Vineyard on it. And it goes on to say, we respect women, which, by the way, great virtue signaling sign, Martha's Vineyard. We respect women. We value black lives. Great. We stand with our LGBTQ community members. So apparently not the IAS plus Martha's Vineyard. Y'all need to be more inclusive. We stand with immigrants with refugees, with indigenous peoples, and with all people of all faiths, we stand with our community. No, no, you said you, literally on a sign, <laughs> Martha's Vineyard, you said you stand with immigrants and refugees. No, they were there, and then you literally bust them out as quick as you could. Hypocrisy makes me laugh. I think my, my love language is hypocrisy. It just makes me laugh to no end. And by the way, the, the article I'm referencing here with the sign is on the Gateway Pundit, which I've been really enjoying as a source of information to consider. Now, 4.2 million illegal aliens coming into our country with an open border, which doesn't happen by accident. It's only open if you open it, just like the kitchen faucet. So... That's a huge problem. Many say one of the ways you destroy a country is you open their borders. The culture goes to hell. The uh, uh, drug trafficking and even worse, the human trafficking, it escalates. From what I understand, human trafficking is now more profitable for the cartels than drug trafficking actually is. And then criminals. Um, yeah, there's obviously some good people coming through they're doing it illegally, so that's a hmm, tarnish on the record. But 
There's also criminals that have absolutely been discovered walking through murderers, just the scum of the earth can walk through a wide open door. It's not even an open door. It's like the walls been taken off the house and you just walk through. We literally don't have a wall. So part of walls. But here's the interesting thing. All of that is as factual as a fact can get, even with my clumsy reporting on it. But here's a very recent interview that's posted on September 12th of Kamala Harris. She apparently lives in a different reality, but here's Kamala's take on the security or lack thereof of our border. Take a look and you be the judge of what you think. We're gonna have two million people cross this border for the first time ever. You're confident this border is secure? We have a secure border in that that is a priority for any nation, including ours and our administration. We have a secure border. I wish this guy would have asked her, could you define what a secure border is? Because based on most people's definition, an open border with criminals coming through and illegals coming through, that's the opposite of a secure border. It's like, like Matt Walsh needs to do a documentary. What is a secure border? Like Kamala, you know, if she can't tell you what is a woman? She probably can't tell you what is a secure border. And if she can't tell you that, she sure as hell doesn't know what a secure border is. Thus, as she calls the border the opposite of what it is. Anyway, gaslighting, it's great. But it doesn't stop there. Miss, we have a secure border. Actually had illegal immigrants recently bust to her private Washington, D.C. property. Take a look. This is also on the Gateway Pundit. Illegal aliens standing outside Kamala Harris's home. The border is open. Everybody believes that the border is open. We came illegally. This is what this man, who will take a look at the video, like literally said. <laughs> so Kamala, miss, I, I don't go to the border, but it's a secure border. And then a dude who just illegally crosses, like, yeah, y'all yeah, have an open border. I, Hence, here I am, but on Kamala Harris's lawn. You gotta love that. Let's take a look. And Vice President Harris uh, said that the border is closed. Is the border closed? Do you believe that the border is closed or is it open? It's open, not closed. The border is open. The border is open. Do you believe that all the migrants believe that the border is open? Yeah, everybody believes that the border is open. It's open because we enter, we come in yeah. free, no problem. And in, but it's open for you to come illegally, right? Illegally, yes, illegally, that's true. And you came illegally? Yeah, we came illegally, not legal. The border is open, here I am. We came illegally, says a guy who crossed the border illegally as it's open. I don't understand how, uh, how the leftist politicians can even stick with their narrative of, no, it's... Uh, there's no border problem. It's secure. It's fine. No, uh, it's no problem with people crossing. It that might be the single biggest example of gaslighting that they're doing, and they're doing a lot. They've got a lot of competition, but that to me is just the biggest. And you can see video. They try to keep the videos from being recorded, but you see videos of people streaming across. Um, it's that's a problem it's a huge problem but there's a problem on top of that problem of the leftists trying to cover it up they know there's there's no secret about it they know they act like they don't know but them trying to cover it up and spin it in the exact opposite direction that's a whole separate problem open border problem leftists deliberately keeping the border open to cause problems while gaslighting and lying about it that's probably a bigger problem in my opinion because problem number one the open border is caused by the leftist politicians so for me do we have a border issue absolutely more significantly we have a corrupt set of leftist politicians not saying all well yeah all leftists are corrupt not all liberals are corrupt but if you're a leftist you're a communist with some agenda they're obviously executing but not being honest with it like it's one thing if they say yeah we're 
We're opening the border, illegal people are coming and that's just what we're doing, okay? That's a problem, but they're at least not lying about it, covering up their bigger agenda. Won't speculate what that is, but a communist takeover is my guess. And, and then just rounding this out, because we have to have a laugh at this. Secret Service agents protect Kamala, Kamala's home from the illegal aliens, tell people to keep away from her fence. <laughs> Dude, if uh, if you don't want a wall, if a wall is wrong and racist and like transphobic and Caucasian phobic and like fitness phobic, do you realize you have a fence? And that's a that's a big ass fence. I got a fence around my place. My fence is maybe a third of that height, and it's definitely not all steel and secure like that. But like she's, you could almost say she has a border wall around her private property. Is that racist and uninclusive, Kamala? No, no, I just don't want other people at my place. Well, you gotta think of what our collective consciousness as a nation thinks. This is our place. So that's pretty fun. Um, which governor was it that shipped the illegals directly to Kamala's place? I just wanna give them a virtual fist bump. On Thursday, two busloads of 100 illegal aliens were dropped off at Kamala Harris's home in Washington, D.C. Uh, it's not saying who that was a gift from. I, I'm sure it's out there somewhere, but whoever gave Kamala that gift, thank you for giving us all the gift of witnessing what you gave her. That's it. Uh, the, the latest update on Ron DeSantis, Governor Abbott, and Governor Ducey in Arizona sending illegal aliens right literally to the doorstep of leftist politicians so they have to see and feel the reality that they otherwise get to deny that they themselves are causing. I hope this makes a difference. I truly do. If anything, here's the difference it makes. It makes their lies and hypocrisy, which they cover up through gaslighting, it makes that way more obvious. So I don't think these leftist people will shift out of good conscience, but maybe they'll shift for the better in order to try to save face so their hypocrisies and gaslighting isn't obvious level 10. They're like, God, maybe we gotta tone this back up, but we gotta operate at like level seven, obvious or below. Um, I'm not totally sure what their thinking is on that, but. That's my optimism there. But let me know what you think about the whole situation, about the governors sending illegals directly to the communities and even the homes of leftist politicians who advocate we are sanctuary cities and y'all are racist if you're not. Let me know what you think in the comments. So with that said, my friend, thank you for watching. If you haven't subscribed to this channel, uh, uh, I would uh, would be honored if you did. And if you're in the mood to sport some freedom vibes, I've got new designs like this Make America 1776 Again shirt in my merch shop. I've got tumblers, I've got hats, I've got all the classic designs as well. So feel free to check that out if helping to spread the freedom vibes in this way appeals to you. Only at awakenwithjp.com. Also linked in the show notes, meaning description on YouTube. Shameless promotion is over. I'll see you next time, my friend. Stay free.